Very good. Okay. Hey, folks. Just realized I have no concept. Oh, here's time. no concept of time already, yeah. and we <laughs> haven't even started. <laughs> Welcome to your six hour non sleep <laughs> depressed <laughs> evening. <laughs> exactly. So we're so lucky. We're so glad that you're here. We've been nice you. sitting with you so much online and, you know, there's this growing Sangha online that's really enthusiastic about this. And we're really glad we're able to include them tonight and include mm -hmm. the people in the room. So mm -hmm. uh, one note for the people in the room is that we're um, putting this out on Zoom, which is why we have these microphones. The people on Zoom can only hear the sound that comes through the microphone and the camera is only on the stage. So they can't hear you and they can't see you. So all 3,000 people in this room are totally anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> um, tonight, I unfortunately have to be at two places at once so I don't get to practice with you. I'm going to be in the other uh, room. Nobody burned the building down. Uh, but I want to let you guys know, I wish I could I wish I could be here uh -huh. too. Have a great sit or lie down as the case may be. Mm -hmm. um, and... Most of you have been here before, but if you haven't, I just want to let you know, um, an alembic, if, you, if you're not familiar with what an alembic is and like, why are you meditating inside this place called alembic? Like, why isn't it called something else? What is this weird name? Um, an alembic is a sacred alchemical vessel for transformation. And our aspiration for this space is that it lives up to its name. Uh, and that when you bring yourself into the space, you are enabled to transform according to your own goals. Uh, so I hope you have a great sit tonight. After um, you finish, please feel free to stay as long as you'd like. There's tea in the lobby. Uh, you can talk to each other and um, just stay lying down if you want. I mean, don't sleep here, but you know, you could stay as long as you like. We're, we're going to be back there until like 10. So don't feel any pressure to leave. Um, feel free to linger and enjoy your deep rest state mm -hmm. we're so glad you're here yeah thanks Kay. yeah thanks for being Thank here um, um, great practice do you think I should, we sh I should be a little bit lower in terms of volume of it's okay okay great it's okay all right wonderful. all right oh. yeah thanks katie all right have a great time everyone yeah thank you so good evening welcome yeah to each of you who are here and then online as well and I was really thinking through what what's coming to me or what, what feels right to start the session for non-sleep depressed and yoga nidra. Um, maybe first I'll describe it a little bit. So is there anyone that it's your very first time practicing the non-sleep depressed or yoga nidra? Okay, great. Yeah. So it's basically... And I know you're familiar with meditation, so, <laughs> but more in the lying down position and the idea around non-sleep deep rest is that you're in a state where there's some quality of awareness and the body may even be asleep, but there's, you're still tuning into and staying in touch with some quality of awareness that's here while the body is going in and out of states of wake and sleep. So the deep rest side of it happens through some of the guidance because it's geared to you know, relax the nervous system and prepare your body and mind to go into those liminal in between states. And however, fall asleep if you like. And if you sleep through the whole practice, that could be the best thing and just exactly what you needed. And many people practice this only for the sleep benefit. So if that's if that's where you are, or that's what you, your body wants to do, or you need rest, then please feel free to fall asleep. And, um, I like to say, if you hear someone snoring, just see, check and see if it's you. <laughs> and, um, and so the theme for the meditation practice, and this is coming from my, some recent kind of thinking I've been doing on, you know, how do you articulate this totally wild, crazy thing we do, which is sit or lie down and explore our experience. And for me, it's exploring the unknown there. It's being able to slow down enough and then be undistracted enough to really look with curiosity at this amazing breath or thought or emotion or whatever it is that's in our experience. 
And to look at it as an exploration of the unknown or of the unfolding moment to moment experience helps us remember or realize that things are much more mysterious than we like to think. And if we're able to approach meditation in that way, then what happens is we actually get what's there instead of imposing what we think we should get even if that's relaxation or whatever it is, you can still have a goal and an intention. And that's in fact, part of the practice, but then you kind of set aside your intention and discover what actually happens during the practice. And I find that every time I practice something very different happens. So um, it's one of those ways of looking at uh, the world and your experience that is kind of a little bit wide-eyed, like, well, what's going to happen right now? And in that truly curious state. And there's something about also feeling like it's a bit like kindergarten, everybody's lying down and you know, there's this kind of nap vibe going that also allows a little bit of the playfulness to come in as well with meditation. It can be so serious sometimes, and that's fine. There's a place for that where we're really exploring minutely, you know, our experience and this place is here for us to discover what's there to be discovered in this practice. So that may be for you something around a meditative question that you're holding, like a really deep question. You really want to know, for instance, I was holding this kind of a koan for years. What is this? I was just burning with the question. What is this? And the question itself I wasn't necessarily needing to answer. I just needed to live with. So you may have some of those questions yourself about the nature of your experience, inner, outer, all of it. And, and you may be here also looking for um, insight into some sort of challenge that you're having or emotional peace that's there for you. So we don't judge either way. There's not like a better and a worse. It's just, we're here showing up for the meditation and we see what happens. And so I'd love if we could explore in this practice, the, the mystery of what it is to be a human being and around other people right now and lie down and have this guided exploration into our experience. And it may be that you come away feeling just a little more relaxed and maybe a little more clear and you know and it could be that you you go into more subtle states that you have these recognitions that occur it doesn't matter in a way it's just that we're here and doing this beautiful thing called meditation right now together so see before we go into the practice and i'll describe a little bit about what we're going to do are there any questions or reflections anything that you'd like to throw in there before uh, we go into the practice. Okay. So Rob is demonstrating <laughs> yoga nidra, except for the blanket isn't in use. So feel free to uh, yeah, find yourself in a lying down supported position. It's nice to have a blanket just so you can have it over you. You can always remove it, but um, can get a little chilly sometimes. And then let your head be supported. So if you, in particular, if you, if you do snore, for instance, um, you might want to just have a little bit bigger of a pillow or one stack another pillow on that one. It's okay if you do snore where... We're here to be with everything that's in the experience, right? Um, and so as you settle in, notice the felt sense of your body. So we're going to go right into that direct contact with your body being here. Sometimes the best way especially at the beginning of a yoga nidra practice to come into contact with a felt sense of the body is to feel the entire backside of your body. So back of your head and neck, upper back, lower back, 
backs of your legs, heels, arms, hands. And just find a place that's comfortable for your arms and hands. And just begin to settle. So tune in with the flow of the breath in and then the flow of the breath out, perhaps making yourself 10% more comfortable than you are in this moment. Your palms can be face down, face up, whatever feels comfortable for you. Can you let your entire body now feel heavy and relaxed? We'll welcome sounds as they come and go for the people that are going to be coming into the lobby for the next, for the other session that's in the building. So just open the senses, opening the ears to sound. Beginning by hearing sound of my voice. Maybe the sound of your own breathing, other sounds. Could you experience sound less like an object and more just like an appearing? the other senses, so touch, feeling the weight of your body resting into the surface that's supporting you. Taste and smell. And sight. So even if your eyes are closed, noticing the shadow and light playing across the eyelids, So sensing now all of the senses are open, relaxed, the body begins to feel heavy, releasing into the mat, the ground. Let's begin with a few breaths where we're breathing into the count of one and out to the count of two. So breathing in, sense all the way up to the crown of your head. And exhale to the count of two, all the way down the body through the soles of the feet. So it's like a sweep of the body with the inhale sweeping up to the crown of the head. And then a longer exhalation all the way down to the soles of the feet. Breathing in, breathing out. As you're here breathing, can you bring that quality of curiosity and also kindness toward the inquiry, toward your experience in this moment, however you are, whatever is present internally, wherever you've just come from, in a sense of kindness, of curiosity, what's here, what's really present? Perhaps setting an intention for the practice, whatever intention comes to you, maybe to rest, relax, let go in some way, or let go of something doesn't need held on to. But your own particular intention for this practice, just naming that inwardly. And feel a little deeper to heartfelt purpose or your heartfelt longing, a deeper intention for your life. Is there a word or phrase that comes to you that encapsulates a deeper intention for your life? If there is a word or phrase that comes, 
just noticing the felt sense as you speak it inwardly. It could be love or service or anything at all. So the senses are open, the breath is coming and going. Can you feel like it's almost as if the body is breathing itself? Giving yourself permission to go in and out of states of sleep. Tuning into the background awareness that's aware of the states that are coming and going. But could you get a felt sense for this quality of awareness? Perhaps there are words like clear or spacious, even loving. And then feel your way into the firsthand experience of being that awareness, of being aware. Exploring whatever comes to you for that, that might even be deep relaxation or a wakefulness or spaciousness, anything at all. This is the background for the practice. Resting in this quality of just being, nothing to do. So we'll tune into the body, do some breathing practices. Do a body scan beginning in the jaw and ending in the feet. So sense your jaw, tongue, back of your tongue. And is there any way that you could release any unnecessary tension that you're holding? So as I name a body part, simply Notice what's present. If there is any atten any tension, can you attend to it with kindness, with warmth? It may just really naturally release and relax. So sensing your jaw. And then your whole face, maybe letting any facial muscles relax. Interesting, simply bringing attention to your face, you may notice suddenly all of the tension you're holding. And if so, inviting those little pockets of tension or contraction in the muscles of your face to relax and release. Sensing your ears, your left ear. Your right ear. And then both ears at the same time. So in this practice, you may have an image of your ears and then you have the felt sense. So let the image fade into the background and feel the direct felt sense of both ears at the same time. And sensing your eyes, your left eye, 
right eye. And then both eyes. If perhaps the thinking mind comes in, distraction happens, just gently reorient your attention back, sensing both eyes. Letting go of any holding around or behind your eyes. Sensing your forehead. Crown of the head. Back of your head and neck. You allow your face and head to feel just heavy and relaxed. Notice what it's like to let go of tension. Sensing down into your shoulders and upper back. attention to the left shoulder, perhaps with an inhalation, sensing your left shoulder. Exhale all the way down your left arm to the palm of your left hand. You may feel palm of your left hand sort of lights up with sensation. So you breathe in and out, sensing your entire left arm and hand, letting your left arm and hand feel heavy, relaxed. Letting go. You may notice now the contrast of your left arm and hand and your right arm and hand. So gently bring your attention across the midline of your body to your right shoulder. Take an inhale. And exhale all the way down your right arm to the palm of your right hand. As you breathe here, letting your entire right arm and hand feel heavy, relaxed. with an inhalation, sensing both shoulders. Exhale, sense both arms and both hands at the same time. You may feel like a spaciousness or heaviness in the arms and hands. Being curious, Whatever it is you come upon, okay, just as it is. Notice your chest or belly rising and falling with the in and out breath. Feel the mystery of the breath coming and going. Perhaps allowing your attention to turn toward either the belly or the chest and just notice the rise and fall joining with the breath as it comes and goes. One pointed in your attention.
bringing attention to your heart, noticing what's the quality, feeling tone of the heart in this moment. Does it feel open or closed or warm or numb, whatever's here. Continue the body scan. With an inhale, bring attention to your left hip. Exhaling all the way down the left leg to the sole, the left foot. Breath coming and going. Left leg, left foot. And you may have an image of your leg. And then can you allow the image to just drop away and you're in the first hand experiencing of left leg, left foot. With an inhalation, bringing attention to your right hip. Exhale all the way down the right leg to the sole of the right foot. Breathing, sensing your right leg, right foot. Now let go of thinking or visualizing and with an inhale, bring attention to both hips, exhaling both legs at the same time, both feet. So you're breathing, you're sensing, you're using the felt sense to explore breath coming and going in your legs and feet. Sensing now your entire body at once. So you can't think your way into this. You feel your way into sensing your whole global felt sense, perhaps starting in the heart and then feeling out into the whole body, arms and hands, legs and feet, head and neck, torso. So you're resting here, breath coming and going. Feeling now how the whole body may feel heavy, relaxed, releasing any last pockets of unnecessary tension. No agenda, just being with the body scan, the breath. Continuing the meditation, noticing, is there any emotion present or that has been present that I would like to turn toward and meet? So the way to do that is you simply turn toward your inner experience and notice, is there any sensation in the body, some emotion? 
that would like to be met, welcomed, acknowledged in this moment. It may just be like an emotional tone of peacefulness or low mood or disappointment, what, whatever's here, what would it be like to turn toward with curiosity and meet any sensations in the body that are appearing as emotions or emotional tones? Could you just allow it to be there fully? As you do so, stay in touch with the global felt sense. So you may find that emotion appears, expresses itself, and then dissipates back into this field of awareness. inhabiting this quality of curiosity that allows your experience to be just as it is no need for it to be different so meeting turning toward any emotion that may be present noticing also any thoughts the state of the thinking mind so calm, busy. So feeling the thoughts just as just another arising in your experience. Could you rest back in this feeling of awareness? You feel it almost just like it's a field of awareness or a field of consciousness that doesn't refuse the thoughts that arise within it or the emotions that arise within it. What's it like to rest back into that larger space? Bringing attention again to the heart. The heart space breathing practice where with a gentle inhalation, draw attention to the heart. With an exhalation, breathing out very gently into the entire body. It's like a wave of the breath coming into the heart. Exhaling out to the whole body. As you do this practice, explore, is there any place that I could let go of in this moment that I don't need to hold on to? A situation, a thought, an emotion, a body contraction. And then as you exhale, just let go. Inhale comes back to the heart. Exhaling out to the whole body, even into the space around the body, letting the wave of the breath come and go in this way. You 
notice the mind comes in, any distraction, just welcome that so fully to be here. And then with real interest, turn attention to the in-breath with the heart and the out-breath out to the fingertips, the toes, the crown of the head and beyond. Letting your whole nervous system down, regulate, extending the exhalation as you breathe out into the body, space around the body, back into the heart. Exploring here, is there any situation that might be asking for compassion in your life? Make space now in the meditation to explore any situations or relationship or work, whatever it is that might be asking for or needing some compassion and love directed at this situation or perhaps it's toward yourself or another person if so what would it be like in this meditation to embody the felt sense of that compassion allowing it to in a sense like stream from the heart toward the experience whether it's your own experience, it's another's, it's a situation. That kind of real compassion that cuts through the story and just loves what is. If there's anything in your experience that would benefit from having this quality of compassion and love applied to it then use the practice here the in-breath to the heart and then exhale as if you're exhaling compassion all the way through your whole body and being toward the situation toward whatever it is that's here Just notice whatever it is that you come upon. In the next part of the meditation, we'll just allow ourselves to actually feel held by life held by whatever word you want to insert there awareness or this quality of compassion what if your whole body and being in this moment were actually held in a field of compassion might you relax even further letting go even further You may still be doing the breathing practice of into the heart and out to the body, or it may be very subtle now.
maybe kind of a sense of going in and out of different states of sleep and wake. You allow your body and mind to you know, relax or release even further into this the felt sense of compassion as if it's a holding presence you feel qualities of boundlessness spaciousness The space-time continuum sort of shifts around a little bit, and there's just this deep, vast openness. And again, the felt sense of your body, the palms of your hands, soles of your feet, the global felt sense, breath coming and going. Thoughts coming and going, emotions, Allowing the meditation to act on you, on your being, in whatever way is most beneficial. Exploring the unknown here, the felt sense of the body, the breath coming and going, mysterious kind of sensations that arise in the body as emotions mental imprints, images, memories, thoughts, deep joy, perhaps, compassion. And then this inner sort of letting go or opening to what is, opening to what is here, just as it is. The exploring the unknown here, dropping the question in, is there anything that wants to be acknowledged in this moment? So asking inwardly, is there anything that wants to be acknowledged in this moment?
Whatever appears, could you turn toward that with this compassionate awareness? So in this meditation, we don't need to be calm. We're just opening to what's here. So if you're actually feeling a lot of energy, ideas, thoughts arising as soon as you turn toward what's here, then welcome that. But just we're really turning toward whatever it is that's here. As you do so, you're you're kind of feeling into the quality of awareness that doesn't resist and refuse the arising. And it's also not separate from what's coming and going. So it's kind of like training the mind to really inhabit quality of compassionate awareness. Again, feeling the entire backside of your body, back of your head and neck, back, back of your legs and heels, arms, maybe the palms of your hands. Feeling now the whole front side of your body. And your whole body at once. What is the quality of your breathing right now? Tuning in through the nose or the mouth, chest or belly rising and falling. A simple practice of just being here. So we'll close the meditation with Really simple, silent practice of just being. And then I'll, I'll bring us out at the end.
So gently bringing your attention to breath, maybe moving the fingers slightly or the toes. But moving very slowly and intentionally, just feel free to begin to reorient to the room. You might take some real time here, just continuing in the meditation. We have plenty of time, so really just luxuriate in the moment and begin to become more aware of the room, the people around you. Maybe circling back to your intention at the beginning, noticing how is that now? your own pace, you may want to slowly bring your knees in toward your chest, and if you'd like, you can roll to one side and remain there for a while. This is all at your own pace. You could stay just where you are if you'd like. It's up to you. If it feels right, you can come back up to a seated position. Do any stretching you need. And as you move, feel that kind of meditative awareness moving with you. So. And when you uh, come out of it, just perhaps, you know, taking a moment to reflect inwardly and if anyone has any reflections or questions, thoughts about the practice, then you just leave a little space to open to that. 